Today we will discuss energy losses in fittings. Fittings include bends and valves. Bends or valves are considered as minor losses. Minor losses of energy. Major losses of energy are friction. So how to evaluate the energy losses in fittings? So let's write the energy balance equation or Bernoulli equation. Delta phi divided by rho plus half delta V square plus EF plus W equal to zero. Delta phi equal to delta P plus rho G delta Z. So we can write Bernoulli in another way. Delta P divided by rho plus G delta Z plus half delta V2 plus EF plus W equal to zero. So we'll put some assumption here. Let's draw our fitting and we'll assume that there there is no change in the diameter that's mean a1 equal to a2 a1 equal to a2 and accordingly v1 equal to v2 you know according to the mass balance mass flow rate 1 equal to mass flow rate 2 so Now we can say delta V equal to zero and the kinetic energy half delta V2 can be cancelled out. Okay, we'll assume that also there is no change in the elevation of the two points. So delta Z will equal to zero and also it's be, it can be cancelled from Bernoulli equation also we'll assume that there is no work into the system so w will be zero and will be cancelled out so now we can write the Bernoulli equation in this way so delta p divided by rho plus ef equal to zero so delta p divided by rho minus delta p equal to af where delta p equal to p2 minus p1 so if we put p1 minus p2 divided by rho it's equal to ef ef is a fraction loss per unit mass of fluid and it has dimensions length and time l t to the power minus 2 so if i want to make ef dimensionless or without any dimensions so i can do it by dividing ef by kinetic energy per unit mass v square divided by 2 so i can get kf loss coefficient So we can say EF will equal to loss coefficient KF multiplied by the kinetic energy per unit mass V2 by 2. We said before that delta P divided by rho is also equal to EF. So equal to KF V2 P square divided by 2. So we can represent delta P in terms of head loss. Density rho will be cancelled and we can move 
acceleration g to the other side of equation so now v squared by 2 is the kinetic energy per unit mass of fluid and v2 by 2 g is the dynamic head of the fluid head y minus head 2 is the head loss I can get loss coefficient experimentally by drawing dynamic head versus head loss so its slope is uh, loss coefficient kf